from my hometown, Burwas, and from the Nelly studio. This one girl commented and asked me if I could um, do a vlog while I'm at Nelly shooting, and I thought, why not? So this is Petronella, the makeup artist. Hi, everyone. And we're currently curling my hair. Yes. With what curling iron? It's a GHD original curling wand. So it's an inch quite standard not too thick not too thin to get more like a wave rather than super curly hair excited to see what makeup we're doing on me today yes. something pretty something summery since we're doing a lot of Nelly trend today so when I shoot here I shoot for the catalog like the online website and I basically always shoot Nelly trend yeah. So if you go on to Nelly.com and go to Nelly Trend, you'll just see photos of me. If you can't get enough of me, you know. One more day and then I'm on vacay. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I'm just gonna be in Sweden though. It's always hard because you know when I post this video, it'll be like in a week. <laughs> and this won't even be accurate anymore because <laughs> I'm already gonna be on vacation. <laughs> but you know, I try my best to update you guys. So right now she's blending the foundation for my face. Yes, using a buffer brush. A buffer brush, and these are the two shades. Oh my god, I'm multitasking the hell out of this day. These are the two shades she's using. She burned her little nose though, so we just need to even this out a little bit, but a very light layer <clears throat> to not make it cakey. Which I really appreciate, it's really nice. I use a foundation for coverage, but I use very light hands, so it looks more like a tinted moisturizer or like a BB cream. So it just it just enhances her natural skin tone and evens it out a little bit. So now she used I'm gonna show here as well concealer from Bare Minerals. Bare skin. Bare skin. So is the brand Bare Minerals? Bare Minerals. Bare skin. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Bare Minerals. Bare skin. <sighs> What shade did I use? I used medium golden and a little bit of tan. And like I said, the only thing she needs is a little bit more coverage around her nose. And she's a little bit red, but otherwise not that much more. A little bit underneath the eyes. What are you doing now? I'm just bronzing up her face a little bit with the NYX matte bronzer. I'm like also try to multitask it's in dark tan and it's a matte bronzer which i just used to sculpt a little bit on her cheeks and a little bit on her forehead and then i use a bare minerals gen nude blush and pink me up just a little bit to flush her cheeks naturally this is what i look like now you know, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like these clips. I would rock these on an everyday basis. They're so cute, right? You just maybe same color and not Exactly, <laughs> not a pink and a white one. So you don't look indecisive. Exactly. Then I use some banana powder just to set her face. It's also from NYX and it's just called Banana. HD finishing powder with a big fluffy brush. And I usually just set the center of her face, like T-zone, because that's usually where the flash flashes back and where she gets a little bit shiny throughout the day. So we are shooting the studio today. Do you feel like there's like a big difference? You can make, you kind of need to make me a bit more matte, right? Definitely. Like I, we all are so into like the glowy looks and I would love to do more like cream products and have it more natural glow shine through but since we use quite a lot of flash it flashes back quite heavily and it can look quite unflattering in photos and Matilda has amazing eyebrows so I only use a little bit of product to thicken them up a little bit in the front and underneath with Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in dark brown. Tell me about your hair or I'm leaving. <laughs> Setting the brows in place with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Best eye brow gel for shoots like this when she takes on and off clothes 500 times a day. This is amazing. 
can't recommend enough. I always start my eyeshadow routine with some cream eyeshadow. And I really like the Shiseido Shimmering Cream Eye Color in OR313. And I use a MAC 217 brush, fluffy to just blush this on her eyelids for some color. Do you prefer modeling or taking the photos? Honestly, I very, I really like both and I like being able to do both. Not that I, I mean, I kind of wish I would take more photos than I do because I love like being creative and I love like doing the creative directing thing. Um, like I always have, like say example for me and Rasmus, like we're shooting for a clothing brand. Like as soon as I get the clothes, I have a vision of like how I want it to look like. Um, and I love being able to like execute that vision. Um, but then again, I love modeling as well. It's really fun to be able to, you know, it's a fun job to like move in front of the camera and play around a little. I think it's nice to have, to be able to do both. Okay, so I'm doing a YouTube video as well, and I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing a live. So I'm doing a live and a YouTube video at the same time, kind of, you know, to multitask. Same blushes <laughs> I used on her face, I used on her eyes to make her naturally a little bit of pink. This is all about the cute pink eyeshadow, so I used the same blush for her eyes as well. And then I go Put in on the Salt Glam palette. <clears throat> I use burnt orange, sienna, and rustic from the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia. Just on her outer corner to shade it in a little bit. She doesn't need a lot, but just to make it have a little bit more depth. So three different colors that she mixes. These three, that one, that one, and that one. Dip in each. Now I'm just putting a matte, like bone color on her lid and her inner corner just to open up her eyes and I'm keeping it quite matte today guys because I do want to have a glossy lip so I'm balancing that out with a matte eyeshadow <laughs> I'm taking a brown liner from Maybelline called Infallible Gel Crayon 24 Hour Waterproof in a dark brown shade just to intensify her lash line. Now I'm just using a pinkier blush to intensify the pink on her eyelid, mostly in the crease. It's fun with a little pop of color now for summer. I like to use pinks and purples and it's just very flattering for most eye colors and she has very pretty eyes which is popping a lot there with the pink. There you go again complimenting. But she's pretty! Uh, let's mm. see, curling her lashes. Best mm. eyelash curler ever. Shiseido eyelash curler. Don't ever buy anything else. This is the best. Try to go as close as possible, pulsating motions, work your way out on her lash line. And I usually use on my models the Volume Million Lashes from L'Oreal in extra black. And I always use disposable wands, guys. Don't ever think I use the same wand on like 500 different people. I would never. Yeah, that's like definitely a tip for everyone. Yes. If you ever get your makeup done by anyone like in a store or like makeup artist mm -hmm. or whatever make sure they always have clean brushes disposable and disposable wands and clean brushes yeah it's so important sweet lashes lash glue are perfect for strip lashes oh individual lashes i rarely use strip lashes can you see the the name it doesn't want to focus there. there we go. Sweet lashes and individual lashes from Ardell. And my tailor just going to look down. And I do them one by one from the outer corner. And these are all the same length. I don't use these on her for length specifically. I use them to uh, thicken up her lash line. So they're pretty much just as long as her own lashes. So she just put... Um 
a lipstick pen, right? Pen? Uh, a pencil. pencil yeah, a, a lip pencil. Um, from Bare Minerals. That's called On Point, just for a base, and then she's going to put um, lip gloss on. Lip gloss on. And I think it'll be two colors if I know her. Yes. You know me right, honey. I always do. And now we want a nude one. And glossy, so I do use two different lip glosses. Which I'm going to show you. I use these two. The L'Oreal Lip Paint Lacquer and NYX Butter Gloss in 101 Gone with the Nude and Angel Food Cake. Two staples if you want good nude lips. Shiny, pinky nude. Perfect for summer or if you're like me and doesn't really like matte lips. And like I said before, we always do a fix and mist on her face. L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist is it's heavy duty, but it's very good for photos. Uh, holds up heat. What do you mean with sweating. heavy duty? It's quite... I don't get makeup. This is uh, alcohol based, so you shouldn't use it every single day because it can't dry you out. Oh. But this is just to lock in your makeup. So I do use this first. And now I just spritz her face. And then that was just to fixate the powders. And then I always do MAC Fix Plus, best hydrating mist ever with glycerin. It's a uh, hydrating alcohol, so just gonna make you glow. Especially in this heat that we were talking about earlier. Mm. Wakes you up, doesn't it? it smells it like does. cucumber, it's amazing. MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in just the original. It doesn't have a specific scent, it's just the original. Love it. Hi. And then we're pretty much done with the face. Going back to the hair, Between. lowering her a little bit, using dry shampoo. Let's see if you can see the name. It's a Swedish brand, but you can get it on a lot of different internet sites. Lambert stuff sing. Yeah, Nelly. Uh, it's a dry shampoo that has more of like a brown tint, so you don't want that ashy look in her roots. Lift it up and spray. And I actually do this before I shake out her curls because I just want volume in her roots. Put it in her roots, shake it up. And you really need to get in there guys because dry shampoo needs a little bit of like work in. So it doesn't feel too much, right? Exactly. Well. So you don't, you don't feel too sticky. I hate when you feel like you have a bunch of products in yeah. your hair. It's just like the most disgusting feeling. Yeah. And what I said earlier about giving her quite a tight curl in the beginning and now just like loosening them up with my hands and Such a little a bit of a brush. Difference. Yes. Just gives you so much volume and... And the bangs, guys, we don't touch the bangs. I washed them last night, yes. I let them air dry, and now they're just the way they are. Um, it usually ends up the best, I feel like. Definitely. And she's ready to take on this day. So pretty. So guys, this is me. I'm ready. I am ready to get to work. Um, I really like the hair. It's super just bouncy and looks super healthy. And the makeup as well. My rack isn't even here. I guess I'll just relax now. Um, have some coffee, chill out. So this is what I did. I really want to focus on, like I said, a beachy wave, which I do with a tighter curling wand at 24 centimeters or a, in America, an inch, just to make it wavy and pretty. Yes. Hi, sweetie, you're so cute. <laughs> I can't handle this cute face. <laughs> okay, guys, um, let's see what we're gonna do next. Yes. Yay. Don't worry. So, changing to this now. Nice. <laughs> 
to do the vlog bit at Here I am. Yeah, wow, work it. Work that butt that you don't have. <laughs> yes, yes. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We love smiling photos here at Ali. Just be really happy. Love life. You know? You know? I am it. How cool am I in these? Not very, I hate small glasses on myself, but whatever, they're making me wear them, so I might as well be happy. Cool. <laughs> hey girl, hey! Time to change again. This top is kind of cute though. Det här är tydligen några stor. Det var läskigt. Nu skulle du ju inte. Du bara la dig i marken och bara... Vänta på det.